<laughs> All right. Main event time. Here we go. UFC Fight Night uh, Song versus Simon. We have Yidong it's Song. Simon. Isn't it or Simon? Song Yidong. Simon. Simon. Yeah, Simon. It's Simon. Simon. My bad. Uh, Yidong Song. Kung Fu Kid. 25 years old out of China. He is 19 and 7 with one draw and one no contest. Pretty well rounded. Eight knockouts, three subs, eight decision wins. Uh, he's looking to get back at the win column after getting TKO'd by the great Corey Sanhagen. He will be taking on the rising Ricky Simone, the 30 year old out of Vancouver, Washington State. Uh, let's see. He is 20 and 3 as a professional. Six subs, uh, excuse me, four subs, six knockouts, ten decisions. And he is streaking into this weekend five-fight win streak, most recently a arm triangle against Jack Shore back in July of 2022. Mark, start us off. Give us the odds and your pick of Simone versus Song. The odds on Omar fighting his cat in the next 10 seconds are minus 5,000. <laughs> This motherfucker is trying to pull on one of my doors, making like all the noise right now. I'm telling you to shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, man. I'm watching you. Uh, all right. Really tight odds on this fight. Uh, Ricky Simone, barely a favorite, minus 120. Uh, Yadong Song, even wow. money, plus 100. I can't believe that Simone's a favorite. <clears throat> Dude, this fight, is, this fight is crazy. I think those odds are it's it's literally a coin toss in my eyes. Yes. So it's coin toss yes. odds. That's that's how I see it. Uh, this is a great fight. I like that it's getting main event shine. That's pretty cool, despite the card being a little underwhelming. Uh, there are two inches of height on the song side, but actually a three inch reach advantage for Ricky Simone, which is inter interesting. And yeah, it's a really really hard fight to pick. Both guys do a lot of things well. Both guys are, I think, still improving at this point in their careers. I was really impressed by the Ricky Simone that we've seen in his last two fights. He looked unreal against Rafael Sunsao and Jack Shore. And his striking was on display in those fights, too, which is, you know, on the come up, that was the thing that wasn't on, on the level at, of the wrestling and the grappling. And now it seems like that has come up, which is going to make him a real factor. The one thing I think about in, in those fights, though, is that Yudong Song is probably about twice the athlete that either a Sun Tzu or Shore is. So I don't know how much of a factor that will be. And, and maybe we see Simone not having quite the level of success striking-wise that he was able to have in those fights against a dude who's probably much faster. Um, Song is well-rounded as hell. We've seen him get up from under, under Cody Stamen, who's a big-time wrestler. We've seen him hang with Shido Vera. We even saw him hang with Corey Sandhagen in, in, in that fight for most of the fight, if not for the cut, which is when it kind of changed and, and went south for him. Um, but I don't know. I, I may eat these words, but I think Ricky Simone is a guy who's been ready to break through for a very, very long time, and I think he finally does it here. He hung with Marab, let's not forget, and, and no one else has. So not to mention I kind of like the five-round switch for Simone, and I don't know why, because Song has cardio too. But for some reason, five over three, I, I'm liking Simone a little more. Uh, I feel like I just tend to go with the guy who wants to wrestle when it's when it's a longer fight. But I'm going to roll with Ricky Simone. Competitive UD. I think he can mix it up enough, show us everything in his bag, strike well enough, win some big moments with the wrestling, and, uh, and take a W. Okay, Omar. It's it's such a difficult fight, man, and and this is one of those fights that I think you kind of have to break down in that moment in that motion of how do you think this fight, how do you think these guys could win the fight, right? Like, what are their avenues to win the fight? And realistically, I think Ricky Simone, I don't think he's going to outstrike Song Yudong. I think he can hang with him. I think he can, you know, compete on the feet with him. But I don't see him getting any kind of significant damage or finish just on the feet against song i do however can i can see song dong standing uh and really banging out ricky simone if it ended up coming down to it i think his hands are a little bit crisper i think he's got a lot more power behind them um 
on the flip side, Ricky Simone's ground game, I think, is can be a real equalizer. Um, not to mention in combination with the pressure and the forward movement that he has. Song Yidong has gas, but Song Yidong also doesn't have and doesn't push the pace the same way that Ricky Simone does. Which is, I think, the one reason why Ricky Simone and Marab were able to hang with each other the way that they were able to. Because their pace and the cardio were, were relatively similar. I don't think that happens here with Song Yidong. And I think if Song Yidong doesn't finish this early, I do think that Ricky Simone ends up taking it. Uh, just based off of the pressure, potentially the takedown and the volume, um, not to mention the ground and pound that Ricky Simone likes to employ. So I'm going to go up with Ricky Simone as well. Um, I was actually surprised that Mark went with with, with uh, Simone. A lot of people are going with Song Yidong, and, and a lot of people are kind of talking shit about people going for Ricky Simone. As if Why? It's a for, but almost like as it's a foregone conclusion. Like, Song Yidong is obviously this up-and-coming kid that's really good and blasting kids and knocking kids out or whatever, but I don't know, man. Ricky Simone just seems to be on such a such a nasty level, and I know he's fallen short every now and again, but, like, but like has he? Really? You know what I mean? Like, the guys that he's fought are top tier. Rob Font, Uriah Faber. Who the hell else is here? And wasn't that favor loss a sketchy stoppage too, if I recall? Honestly, don't even remember, man. I feel like I remember that being the case. Um, Beat Marab, and then some loss in in Titan FC. That like at this point, who gives a shit? So right. he he's fought tons of nasty guys: Marab Duashvili, Montel Jackson, who we just talked about here, um, Hani Yaya, who we also just talked about here. Ray Bork, who we've also just talked about here, uh, <laughs> Boom Kelleher, Rafael Sunsau, Jack Shore. I mean, these are all names on a resume that will get you any job in this world. You know what I mean? So I have faith in Ricky Simone. I think he's going to do it, and I think he does it 29-28. Five rounds, baby. 48-47. <laughs> right, totally. Uh, man, it is a very close fight, and fuck if I know. And I'll just uh, I'll play the opposite. I'll I'll go with with Song Yidong, and I'll say that uh, I'll say that he wins by a UD. I'll say yeah, whatever, fucking 40, 48, 47, 49, 46, somewhere in there. I do see it being a very competitive fight given the skill sets of these two guys. Would not be surprised if somebody cracks the shit out of somebody. What makes this fight very intriguing to me is that. Ricky Simone is a guy who certainly is going to match the sort of strength and athleticism that Song brings into the cage. Uh, so it will be very interesting to see. Yeah, dude. So, so there you have it. This is such a good fight. Like I, I, yeah, great. Fight. I hope it gets the eyes because again, the card is kind of lackluster on paper. But I was telling Mark before this, this is one of those cards that everybody. This is. This is one of the ones where everybody could end up with a finish and none of us saw it coming. So, totally. could be a sleep. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think there's definitely violence the potential card, yeah. on the card. It's it's just name value that's low there, but there's violence potential. Josh Quinlan, Quinlan is on the main card. He murders GCJ. dudes. Got heavyweights. They always hurt people. Yeah, Rosa. Yep. Vieira could snatch a sub. I mean, yeah, there's there's finish potential for sure. It's, a, it's 7 o'clock main card too, so what does that mean? Song and S Simone will be on at like 9.30, 9.30, 10 o'clock range, yeah. yeah. If it was anything like last week, it's 9.30. Yeah. 